Hello friends. Today we are going to discuss assignment 6 uh, solutions of big data computing. Assignment 6 questions is all about uh, machine learning related concepts. We will see the questions one by one very quickly. The first question is which of the following tasks can be best solved using clustering? We have given four options. The first option is predicting the amount of rainfall based on various cues. This comes under the regression part, predicting the amount. We are predicting the numerical value here. So it comes under a regression model. Second one is detecting fraudulent credit card transactions. This, this can come under clustering. Grouping uh, the genuine transactions in one group and the uh, fraudulent transactions in another group. It is called clustering. So this is the uh, task which can be solved by using clustering. If you see the third uh, option, training a robot to solve a maze. Usually this type of task can be, be comes under semi-supervised uh, learning algorithms. So the appropriate answer for this is the second option. Coming to the second question, identify the correct statement in context of regressive model of machine learning. Uh, regressive model organizes similar item in your data sets into groups. Actually, uh, grouping the similar items into one uh, is called as clustering but not regressive model. Okay, So the first option is wrong. The second one, regressive model predicts a numerical value instead of category. That is true. Regressive always predicts a numerical value rather than the category. The third one is regressive model comes up uh, with a set of rules to capture associations between items or events. This is called association rule mining actually, the third one. So the appropriate answer for the second question is the second option, regressive model predicts a numerical value instead of category. Coming to the third question, dash refers to a model that can neither model the training data nor generalize to new data. That is called underfitting. In underfitting, the model won't be uh, generated with the, the, there won't be any model generated as well as uh, we, you, we cannot generalize that model to new data. That is called oh, underfitting. Coming to fourth one, which of the following is required by k-means clustering? Whenever we solve any k-means clustering uh, problems, we used to know three, we used to know three inputs priorly. The first one is distance metrics. We use either Euclidean distance or Manhattan distance, whatever, based on the data set. And the number of clusters we need to know, that is K. We need to know the K value also. I mean, uh, given, uh, given the data set, into how many groups you need to cluster it, like two or three or four. That is number of clusters. The third one is initial guess to guess as to cluster centroids. We need to know the initial centroids also. By With these three only, we can solve any k-means clustering problems. So these are all the three uh, parameters which are required for k-means clustering algorithm. So the answer is all of the mentioned. Coming to the fifth one, they have given a problem uh, based on some binary classification. which is a binary classification problem. It is a confusion matrix actually. They have given some true positives, true negatives, false positives and false negatives. This is true negative. This is true positive and this is false positive and this is false uh, Sorry, this is false positive, this is false negative. Okay, so they have given the values and they are asking to find out some values. Like they, they have they have they have given the accuracy value, they have given false positive rate, they have given true positive rate, and we have to check which are all the given measures are correct. So we need to find out the accuracy, we need to find out the uh, false positive rate, we need to find out the uh, true positive rate. For these, we are having some uh, formulas. I'll be discussing those also. So they have given this confusion matrix actually. If you observe, this is the table they have given the entire table. And this, this is a true negative. This one is a true negative and this one is a true positive. And this one is false positive and this one is false negative values. They have directly given the values. We have to substitute this in the formulas. Uh, in order to measure the accuracy, the, sol the formula for measuring the accuracy is Tp plus Tn by Tp plus Tn plus Fp plus Fn. So substitute all these values in this formula, we will be getting approximately 91% accuracy. 
okay similarly i have find out the false positive rate also for false false positive rate the formula is fp by fp plus tn substitute this the given values in this uh, uh, formula and we'll be getting 0.166 um, as a false positive rate similarly true positive rate uh, formula is tp by tp plus fn so by substituting the given values we'll, we'll be getting around 95 uh, uh, percent as a true positive rate if you uh, cross verify the values here accuracy is 91% approximately so the answer is true sorry accuracy is 91% so the accuracy we got is approximately 91% isn't it we have we got 91% and false positive rate is 0.95 but the false positive rate which we got is 0.16 so the third option is wrong true positive rate is 0.95 and we got 0.95 here also this is true so 1 and 4 are true so 1 and 4 are the right answer is the right answer for this question okay friends fine now we'll see sixth question identify the correct method for choosing the value of k in k-means algorithm we can choose this k we can uh, find out the value of k by using two methods one is dimensionality reduction method and another one is elbow method both methods can be used to either of the methods can be used to find out the k value in k-means algorithm True or false question, seventh one. If your model has very low training error but high generalization error, then it is overfitting. It's true. Overfitting means the performance will be good. I mean, the, the, the model performance will be very good. But when it uh, generalized to new data, then the error rate will be more. That is called overfitting. So the answer is true. Coming to eighth question, identify the correct statements in context of overfitting in decision trees. In statement one, the idea of post pruning is to grow trees to its maximum size and then remove the nodes using a top bottom approach up to here the the uh, the statement is true but removing the nodes using top bottom approach is false we we remove the nodes using bottom up approach but not top bottom approach okay the statement one is false coming to statement two the idea of pre pruning is to stop tree induction before a fully grown tree is built the perfectly fits the training data it is true so only statement two is true okay the second option coming to ninth question which of the following options are true for uh, k fold cross validation if you observe all the statements are true actually increase in k will result in higher time if you go on increasing the k value it takes a lot of time to get the result higher values of k will result in higher confidence as that is also true if k is equals to n n n is a number of observations here it is called leave one out cross validation so it's a basic question they have asked so the answer is one two three both both the three statements are true coming to tenth one the last one uh, identify the correct statements in context of machine learning approaches in statement one uh, supervised approaches the target that the model is predicting is unknown or unavailable this means that you have unlabeled data supervised means we should be usually getting the i mean the, the, the data will be labeled data so statement one is false in unsupervised the data will be unlabeled but it, here they have given us labeled actually they have reversed the statements so supervised means we should get the labeled data unsupervised means unlabeled data so both statements are false the appropriate answer is third option so you can submit the answers and uh, uh, again once again i am uh, reminding you uh, friends uh, the last day to get registered to this course is uh, 28th october uh, 10 am so if you want to write the exam and you want to get the certificate then please go ahead and register as soon as possible uh, if you delay if the, still the registrations will be open till november 2nd 5 pm but you need to pay some extra fine for that around 500 means the total amount is 1500 so uh, it's best to register before october 28th uh, only and the exam date is on december 20th they have uh, scheduled the exam on december 20th to zero so that's all for today's session. We'll meet with uh, assignment 7 in next video. Thank you friends. Uh, if you are uh, new for my uh, to my channel, uh, please subscribe, share and comment. If you have any queries also regarding any assignments of big data computing, you just uh, drop a comment in the comment section. I'll be replying to your queries. Thank you.